Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In last video discussed about useful operational URLs. In case you missed that discussion, please review. Today we will discuss about command line interface with few regular options which will help you while developing time. It's also helpful for DevOps engineer to configure Odoo. So let's start. First we will go to terminal and uh, first we will active default Odoo service. So this one is the default Odoo service using port number 8069. If you refresh this patch, it will refresh and you here you can see there is no any extra applications installed. So our first command is help command. So after Odoo desk bin file, we have to use either minus h or dash dash help command we will use right now minus h command it will give you a list of commands with description because so there are a lot of descriptions and commands here so there are all commands divided into specific operations like uh, common options available for common operations related for HTTP related options, you can see here HTTP service configuration, web related integration uh, interface, then after testing related configuration, then after logging configurations, SMTP level configurations, database related options, inter internationalization options, then after security related options, advanced options, and multi processing options. All list of commands you can see here with description so either you can use this one or dash dash help both are the same one then after if you want to know what is the odoo version so here you can see like dash dash version press enter it will not active the odoo service it will only give you the name of the odoo server with version one more thing is if you want to active only only for one database the time you can use minus d or dash dash database option first we will see what is the difference between without selection database or with selection so here i didn't add any extra commands so here you can see there are a list of databases you can see here the first step and test now we want to only load only one database let's say my uh, first database so minus d or dash dash database and database name so we will use your short name minus d first step press enter it will load it will active the service and if you will redirect here you can see here two databases but once i will refresh it will give me only one database first name so this command is also used while you want to use only specific database only and uh, other databases you want to restrict the time you can use this command please remember while developing uh, multiple projects in local in local system the time you can also use this one another one is install module so that time we can use either i or init init means install module you can here install one module or multi modules but uh, while if you are using multi modules let's say a is an a is a module name b is a module name c is a module name you want to install all these three then you have to use a comma b comma c like this it will automatically install all these modules so here we are using minus i plus 
mail uh, this one is one existing module in Odoo once I will press here it will automatically install here you can see service services stop stop executing why because we didn't give any database name so this is optional but it is mandatory to give minus the option or database first tab here you can see all the process will start and here you can see this one is a mail module it's installing and uh, related or also re uh, mail related dependency modules also install so we don't need to do anything so once I will go to the browser and refresh this page we will close this one you can see discuss module install previously it wasn't there so let's say if you want to update or upgrade any module so that time you want to use only instead of i you have to use u minus u or update and then after module name any module name also here one more thing is this command is also mandatory it that one is also you if you don't want to add this option you can also skip that one but the condition is once you go to front end side any user will active any specific database it will upgrade there so if you want to use for specific database only at that time you can use my slash slash database and database name so here we are using minus u or dash disk update then after module name so this mail is a module name once i will press enter key it will first load odoo server and uh, then after it will check the database name and it will act upgrading this module so here you can see it will upgrade automatically so this one is an update module so I hope you remember these three general options one more thing is add-ons path you have a custom modules and those modules are exist in different different directory that time you can use this option add-ons desk path space odoo add-ons desk odoo add-ons this both are Odoo's default add-ons path which is mandatory to add here one more thing is comma here is your path any path custom path you can paste here and press to enter in case that path is not exist the time Odoo will having this this kind of error so it will always active or use specific add-ons path so those are the default one here you can see one more useful command is uh, to change port number like as you see by default port number is 8069 for the Odoo service so let me start first to change the port number uh, using XML RPC dash port that that is the command name so XML RPC dash port space 8080 
you can see this is the uh, it will active in this port number and once you will go to the browser and refresh here it won't be refreshed because the port number is changed so here I will change port number 8080 then it will working fine well all these five commands you need to practice because it will help you in your daily basis if you want to continue as an Odoo developer and yes this one also helpful for DevOps engineer to configure Odoo service with above commands thank you for watching this video we'll see you in next video and please don't forget to subscribe and share